Thermography cannot replace mammography, nor can mammography replace thermography. They are two totally different technologies looking at different uh, aspects of breast health. A mammogram is looking at uh, anatomy or the structure, and a thermogram is looking at the physiology or looking at the function. The two go together. Um, the physiology always happens first. We, we can see the beginning of the disease process when it's about the size of a, the end of a ballpoint pen with thermal imaging. Usually with uh, mammography we cannot see the mass until it's about the size of a pea or uh, I believe it's three centimeters which is generally between eight and ten years that it has been forming prior to the ability to detect it by mammography. Thermal imaging can uh, detect heat 0, uh, 0 0.5 centimeter from the surface of the skin. But all heat, no matter how deep it is, is going to come to the surface of the skin. Ther thermal imaging is 90% accurate on its own, but it can miss uh, a deep, slow-growing, non-aggressive tumor. Uh, generally, these are found uh, on a mammogram. Often they are uh, considered in situ tumors. They're encapsulated. They're, uh, as I said, non-aggressive, slow-growing, uh, deeper tumors. Those can be can be missed by a thermogram. This is uh, also why it's important to use both technologies. Uh, between the two technologies and clinical breast examination, we're realizing between 95 and 98 percent detection, which is phenomenal.